Alright, select the clip that you want to work with, go to the color page and now make sure that this is set to qualifier and then select this little button right here and then select this one. It's like you're a pilot, toggle the mask overlay and now you can scribble over the subject. I'm going to scribble here as well just to be sure and now this is the mask that the AI of DaVinci Resolve has created which means that we can now remove our background. But before we're going to do that we are going to track it and I'm going to use the better option change the blur just slightly the black as well and the white as well the black means this will come in a little bit and then the clean white will make sure that the mask is a little bit more soft now let's track it using this button so it's going to track it forwards and backwards depending on your computer this may take some time and now that it's been tracked let's go back to the reference frame by clicking here and it's important to make sure that you don't start your tracking at the beginning of it or at the end but just somewhere along the middle and now that we're done we can add an alpha output which will make sure that the background will be visible we're going to deselect the toggle mask overlay and look at that we see a green screen behind this and that's funny because usually you start with this key it out and then change the background altogether now to really sell this effect we are going to add an effect which is called the drop shadow we're going to drag it in here close this one down and then make sure that we connect the green to the green we connect the blue to the blue then connect the blue to the blue again and you guessed it the green to the green to see the final result now you see a slight drop shadow over here which can be changed or adjusted here in the effects panel you can move it around change the distance to really sell this effect now if we go back to the edit tab back to the first frame and we start to play this clip then this is the final result now keep in mind everything can be changed in the background but if you change something here in the transform settings and this is very important because if you change something here your entire mask will have to be retracked in the color page now if you want to prevent that you'll have to create a version infusion which i'll make a different video about